this is what a regular mouse would be right here. Computer mice. You can't live with them, you can't live without them. And they hurt your hand, give you carpal tunnel symptoms and all that stuff. But we have a mouse that thinks it should be able to solve that problem and it's a lot more comfortable, maybe. So we have the deluxe vertical mouse. So instead of, I guess, a horizontal mouse, you have a, a vertical mouse. So I guess, turn your hand like this. I'm not gonna pass judgment yet. Taking a look at the box, looks pretty cool. Got some lights it looks like we have. Looks like we have palm rest and all that good stuff. As you can see, opposed to a standard horizontal mouse, you're not gonna be stressing your wrist and everything. It's gonna be perfectly aligned, just like your spine. That's why they have standing desks. So we have a bunch of different stuff here. We have left click, scroll wheel, right click. We have DPI cycling on the bottom, forward, back, and removable palm rest. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'll try anything once. Now, as far as functions go, this supports up to 12,400 DPI and 1,000 Hertz, and it has five programmable buttons, so this is like top tier if you're a gamer. So, let's get inside the box that is apparently broken on the side. Yeah. Well, this thing's pretty big. I guess this is the removable palm rest. And we have the mouse, and of course an instruction guide, which we might need, so let's leave that right there. Okay, very nice and soft braided cable, I like that, along with a little zip tie here. Now, if we take this out, I mean, if I saw this, I wouldn't even think this was a mouse. Like, this is pretty crazy. Although, granted, I didn't even use it yet. This feels comfortable to hold. Now, the palm rest here, I guess you just slide this onto the back and it I mean that's not very reassuring but it locked in there oh okay I could actually it, my palm rests on it so it's even more comfortable I, I don't know I don't know now let's see we got forward and back buttons on the left side all the buttons are very clicky Wait, how are there five programmable buttons if there's only five buttons to begin with I mean I guess you could change what you want each one to do. Down on the bottom we have the laser, on and off switch, along with a button for maybe LED lights, I don't know. Let's get this thing plugged in. All right. All right, so the mouse is working. It's turned off. Oh, turning it on turns on the LED lights, man. Let's see if I push the button, it changes the colors. I think it flashes a different color and then goes back to cycling through all the colors. Yeah, so that's weird. I don't know. Hey, turn off the studio lights. So, I mean, looking at this with the lights out, the LED lights are very nice, very soothing, looking cool. They're not super intrusive, so they're not going to distract you too much, but give you that nice glow to make you feel cool. Now, using this, I mean, I guess it's pretty simple. I mean, for the most part, this is what a regular mouse would be right here. Left, right, scroll wheel. So you're basically doing that, but you have it on its side, and then you have two extra buttons over here on the left side, so you can use them for things like gaming, I guess. And then it moves very smoothly. I don't even have it on a mouse pad, and it's working perfectly. It's moving really fast, too. Like, they weren't lying. Kind of got to get used to it, because I, I haven't used a mouse in a long time, I've actually been using the trackpad on the MacBook. Very responsive, like so responsive. Of course you can adjust the speed and all that stuff depending on what you want. LED lights are nice, if you don't like them you can easily turn them off, turn them back on. I'm just not sure why the button keeps going back. Probably you have to get the special software which is apparently only for Windows so I can't use it. But I mean it's working great. Very nice, very responsive. Scroll wheel button works. I mean, this is a pretty nice mouse. I'm kind of impressed. Hey, turn on the studio lights. I mean, it feels like I'm controlling like a helicopter or something, you know? Like, <laughs> but, I mean, it's it's actually. I thought this would be kind of hard to use, but it's the same thing. You know, here's the mouse. Turn it on its side, and now you're ready to go. It's a lot more comfortable. My wrist is straight. Normally, you're like this, and well, I guess not. You're more like this. And, you know, you start feeling pain. This, you're like, look, it's straight. I'm gonna be comfortable here for long hours playing 
any game I want or working in the office. Like, it's pretty impressive. Like, I thought this would be hard. I mean, I'm using it. Everything's clicky, working well. No problems. Now, I mean, I don't know. I like it. I don't know. I thought this would be hard. Like, it looked complicated. Well, that's cool. I mean, even looking through the bottom, you can just see all the lights changing. That looks awesome. So this is definitely going to be perfect for a gaming setup. I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely going to try to use it whenever I happen to use a mouse. I just would definitely prefer a wireless version, although, you know, if you're gaming, you probably don't want a wireless version, but if you're just using it regularly, that'd be great. But then you would have to replace batteries, too, especially with the LED lights. But, you know, it's not bad. This cable's very soft, braided, very long, and it works wonderfully. Okay.